Good morning, welcome to Saturday. Uh, today is a bit bittersweet because I'm not doing the thing that I should have been doing. I was invited to a local Ladies Day event, which is obviously for ladies and you get dressed up and drink too much alcohol and eat too much food. And um, I was invited last year by somebody that I met, which was the first friend I made when I moved here. And I said no, because I didn't know anybody. And she asked me again this year and I said yes and then have been teasing her ever since about I don't want to go, can't believe you're making me go. Anyway, because stuff's been going on at home that has been challenging I um, and uh, I, I couldn't, I physically couldn't juggle everybody's needs today if I went out. Um, it was just not, we, there weren't enough bodies in order to do it. So, and, and to be fair, haven't been in the right mental place to be able to go and get dolled up and do that kind of thing. So I cancelled, which I'm, it was right. I know it was the only decision to make for today, but I really wish I hadn't had to. I feel like I've let her down as well. It's me, really, but I couldn't have done it. There's no, there's no, there was no other way around it. So right now I am parked in Tesco's car park while all those lovely women are um, looking beautiful and getting drunk. I'm parked in Tesco's car park um, in a town about an hour away because I had to drive over here to um, deliver Felicity to her first driving lesson. She's having a week of intensive driving lessons with her test at the end. So she's got a two hour one now. Um, and there's no point me going home. I can't decide whether to go into the supermarket and sit in the cafe, but it'll be noisy. Or what I'll do. I might just go and get a sandwich and sit here. Not sure just yet. We'll see. Nothing I do is good enough. I just, I never, I can never please everybody. Someone is always pissed off. The irony being that Paul and I just basically our entire day, time, finances, thought is full of making things better for other people. And yet it's just an eye roll or a, or a frustrated, like, yeah, I know. This is the thing, being a parent is actually the best and the worst thing that can happen to you. Somebody, and I don't know who, gave my daughter glitter. Oh. Is that bad? It's just, it's not bad, it's just messy. So we were going to, uh, Paul and I were going to sneak out tonight. Felicity's been booked to babysit tonight for ages because I'd obviously had this thing planned that was going to go on for the day and um, what have you. But it, it, I'm, I'm an emotional wreck today. I can't keep anything together. I feel very, very taken for granted and underappreciated um, and a bit overwhelmed with the expectations um, of people, uh, teenagers basically, not, not, you know, not anyone that should know better. Well, I suppose they should know better, but then, I don't know. It's probably me. So I have decided that rather than going out and trying not to cry the whole evening, which is how I feel, we are still going to have our date, the, um, Felicity's still going to put the kids to bed and we're going to have a Chinese takeaway watching TV. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. Well, that is about the end of the day.
today and so we shall see you tomorrow I haven't quite got the sign off mastered yet I think it's something along the lines of if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of what we get up to hit the subscribe button if you hit the bell button you'll get notified when we've put a new video up and then you can continue living a life of Riley. See you tomorrow.